You, you go where? Harvard. Law school. You got into Harvard Law? What, like a tarp? Oh my gosh, Warner. It's been 20 years since Reese Witherspoon became a household name. You remember Elle Woods in Legally Blonde. Since then, she has also become a powerful force in Hollywood. Powerful is a the word there. An investment firm recently poured hundreds of millions of dollars into her media company, Hello Sunshine. Isn't that the perfect name for a Reese Witherspoon company? Yep. The investment is accelerating Hello Sunshine's mission to tell diverse stories about women in all mediums. They produce hit series like Little Fires Everywhere and Big Little Lies and The Morning Show, which just kicked off its new season on Apple. Reese plays anchor Bradley Jackson in the series. She joined us from Nashville to talk all about it. Let's talk about Bradley Jackson. I love this girl because she goes from someone who's Grateful to, oh, golly gosh, I'm so thankful to have this opportunity to uh, when she's passed over for a job at the evening news that she thought she deserved to basically telling the boss, beep, you. And by the way, I'm going to call in sick for the next month. Why was it important for you? I, I laughed at that too, Reese, because I'm thinking <laughs> if I had done that here at CBS, I'd be on Times Square going, taxi, please. Does Reese Witherspoon need an assistant? I play nicely with others. Why was it important for you that she demand more? Well, I think I was reading this interesting thing about work and how we, the, the three stages of work are, I can't wait to get there. And then the next stage is, I'm so glad I'm here. And then the third stage is, get me out of here. <laughs> so I think, you know, she's so excited to be in the rooms where it happens, but she demands respect. And I think it's kind of fun to pull behind the curtain and see, you know, when people go into negotiation tactics, they can be ruthless, even if they're, you know, uh, new to the job. Last season, Steve Carell's character, Mitch Kessler, he was ousted from the morning show because of misconduct. You all could have ended his storyline there very easily, but yet his storyline continues. Why? I think it's an important time right now that we're talking so much about cancel culture, you know, and, and we're dismissing people and exiling people, and some rightly so. I think, but there's this whole human cost, and what does it mean to be publicly shamed? Uh, how do you put your life back together? Your life isn't over. You have to reconstitute and rebuild. And I think it's really, um, really thoughtful of our writers to think about what is the extent of a human experience that comes out of cancel culture? And also, can we separate the person from their work? And it definitely makes you think. Yeah, it does. It raises some very interesting questions. Let's talk about Juliana Margulies. She's joining the cast this season, and boy, does she take us on a ride. She shakes up Bradley's <laughs> world. She shakes up the TV network. I know. Well, first, first of all, we were just so excited to, to have her because she just brings so much grace and elegance and gravitas to everything she does. My character is just in awe of her because it's like, you know, when, when the person you've looked up to all your life suddenly is in your life and is your mentor, um, it's very intoxicating. Yeah, that's a good line. She really is in your life, isn't she, Bradley Jackson? Um, yes, she definitely gets into Bradley Jackson's life. And then as, you, so this is good. So this is, I'm not going to spoil anything, but as the season progresses, you start to wonder, is she being helpful to Bradley? Or is she maybe trying to mold Bradley in an image that she wants her to be? Mm -hmm. I'm wondering that. It's too. really good stuff. Watching your show, Reese Witherspoon, makes me think morning <laughs> TV is ruthless. Is it? I don't know, Gail. You tell me. <laughs> I refuse to answer on the grounds that it may incriminate others. Now, let's talk about you, Reese Witherspoon, outside of the morning show. You've made some real boss moves recently with Hello Sunshine. I love the name of the company, Hello Sunshine. The figure that's been thrown around about the sale of your company is just under a billion dollars. Can you say, if, is that an accurate figure? Yeah, that's accurate. Um, and it's so wonderful because, you know, when a company that is 
built on this mission to highlight women and get women paid for their work and have artists make money off of their work, when it, it does well, it really creates more opportunity for similar companies to be emerging into the marketplace and be valued at the similar terms. And when you started the company years ago, did you hope one day that you could get it in a position where it could be sold and you would still be basically in charge of running it? Was that your intention? Absolutely. I wanted to grow it in a way that has never been done inside of Hollywood and the media world. because. You know, women don't own a lot of things. We all know this, and we don't talk about money enough. We don't talk about investing enough. We don't even talk about basic financial needs. So I'm definitely on a mission to make more women more money. My last question. When you look back over your career, and your career is still ongoing, but let's just say your career to date, what are you most proud of? Gosh, that's such a good question. I'm proud of this moment in my um, career because I've done a lot for myself, but I'm really proud of being able to open the door for other people. Because in any business you're in, you just want to leave it a better place than the way you found it. And when I came into this business, it wasn't welcoming, and it was really hard to be a woman, and it was almost impossible to be a woman of color or LGBTQ or differently abled. And to be in a position where I'm able to open the door for people who have felt other for so long and say, now you get to tell your story in your own words is enormously fulfilling, and I feel excited every day to wake up and do that for a living. We're excited for you too, Reese, and, yeah. and also very proud. She said when she got the check with all those zeros, she's very happy. She said she cried. She cried because she thought about what it represented and all the women that had come before her that couldn't do what she's doing now. So she's enormously proud. And listen, she really is just getting started. But when you think about the morning show, they had already been shooting three weeks, and then COVID hit, so they had to go back and rewrite the whole series. The first season, they had to go back and rewrite because of Me Too. Yeah. So they, they really do borrow from the headlines, and it's very, very well done. Did she really get a paper check for $900 million? <laughs> Probably like a direct deposit, right? Yeah, I'm not sure about yeah. that, but I love the fact that it started it at... It had a lot of women. zeros. Yeah. Doing big things. Yeah.